So uh, listen, today we will talk about the Kimberts effect uh, in iMovie. So this is separate from the crop um, because actually this is very important. Uh, they use this effect in like older films. Uh, I may say in documentaries. I mean they use this everywhere. Um, originally they actually used a camera and this special tripod to actually uh, do this effect, but now it's more digitalized and now you can actually do it in your computer. Uh, this was actually the I may say uh, this is actually Actually, Kim Burns is, is actually a filmmaker. Um, yeah, so we're gonna start with an example footage here. So um, usually iMovie does this by uh, automatically use, uses the Kim Burns effect by default, as you can see. Um, <clears throat> you see in this specific footage, but you can adjust it <coughs> for images, not video. But video is also applies here. Uh, we can <coughs> say you the so actually we, what we're gonna do today is the Kim Burns effect. So <laughs> You yeah, everything, but today we're gonna do this, the, the Kimber's effect. So the Kimber's effect is almost like this. Uh, <coughs> I'm reviewing the other uh, um, crops uh, later in the future, uh, and actually my next video is about the other crops. So, um, so the first option you get is this. This is actually for switching the Kimber's effect. So like you can set the start and end of the Kimber's effect. So like. If I, uh, you can actually uh, set the start and end. So we're going to actually say like this, and this time it will be backwards, and it will go from farther to closer. Uh, you can do that. And so I actually was just go back here and see some more settings. Um, the next uh, setting is actually to, to actually change it. So we we can actually do a little bit uh, differently with the canvas effect. So if I want to uh, crop on uh, Krishna, maybe in this case, we, we could actually do that. So we can just uh, select end, and then you can just uh, resize it uh, to crop only on the. Uh, uh, Kristoff. So uh, actually, so uh, um, so as you can see, we could actually uh, do it like this and um, see. Um, we can focus into specifically specifically Krishna. So also, let me just uh, double check this. Uh, this um, I want to just um, for this. Oh, wait a second. So I'm gonna just double check this. So, so uh, here we can also do video. So we're gonna actually, this is very useful. Um, so like, for example, here, I'm gonna focus on the mouse specifically. Um, you can, you're going to do the Cambridge effect, select that. And specifically on the mouse, crop this in. There, I use this all the time. Uh, which, and you can actually be, be, switch it found and um, also you can just uh, so you can even uh, so you can even do this to focus out the switching around tool here so you can focus out so you, here as you can see you can focus out but there is no way to make this faster uh, according to settings but i actually to make this faster uh, i don't use camtasia i use iMovie for doing all this uh, to make this faster we're going to fit this first here uh, okay we will reset it uh, so we will set it so we're going to make this faster you had to just uh, it depends on how much time the footage is so we're going to select that in one second uh, i mean 0 0.1 second footage and then just actually can burns and then that we're going to focus on this part of the screen at uh, this time <laughs> this time so we're going to actually go here uh, wait, wait, wrong one, wrong one, wrong one. Um, I wait. This is too small. Sorry about that. I messed up. So the, the, we're going to make this a little bit longer. So and that actually makes it faster. Um, you can also did. I'm gonna reset this first off. Um, so you, you can make this faster. So I'm um, actually you you can also um uh, uh, use the crop tool. So we're gonna going to do the Cambridge effect again, and then you can crop this area um to actually um to be used for the Cambridge effect. I will go go to the crop uh, tool in detail. For right now, um, we're gonna just crop this area. Um, you can also so for the Cambridge part of it you can just um 
crop it and you can that's actually a way to make this faster so um so we're going to make this smaller i totally messed up on this so we go for right now we're going to put this at the end so, so at the end and uh, let me see just to reset it and then we're going to use the crop tool to actually uh, actually this the um wait a second to actually so for right now we have crop tools that align this correctly and then just for um i mean using the canvas tool and then we can see if the, this actually uh, works first off there there so we aligned it to see if it works. Yeah, it works. So uh, I, actually, you can do that to make it faster. So you can use the crop tool to make it faster. But we're gonna explain everything it, and for the crop tool and uh, the, um, and the fit tool in a future video. Also, um, you can actually um, it, it is uh, possible to uh, disable it. So go to uh, um, iMovie and preferences, and then you can actually um, select what you want to so, like, crop to fill fit. For right now, we keep on Ken Burns, so you can select uh, if it should uh, apply to Ken Burns effect or not. So this is the last lessons.